Lately I've been doing some difficult projects, so this week we're going to do a real simple one, and these are all the items you need. I'll be using a square silicon mould, you can use any shape you want, you can find these online, they're not too expensive. This particular one I got from Solar Colour Dust. The lights I'll be using I just got from a cheap shop, they're just battery operated, they take two AA batteries, they're only a couple of bucks. The resin is a casting resin called Artcast, and to that resin I'll be adding some blue alcohol ink, and some glitter. So the first thing I need to do is position my lights inside the mould. These particular lights are an LED light and they're a wire string light. So they just got these little LEDs positioned every so often along a piece of wire. Now before we go casting these lights in resin, it's probably best to test them out since they are cheap and we need to make sure they work. Perfect. Now that we know that our lights work, the next thing we need to do is position them in the mould. There's no right or wrong way to do this, I'm just going to scrunch it up into kind of a ball shape and put it in. If you want you can turn on your lights, just to make sure you've got an even spread of bulbs. Another thing while putting your lights in, just make sure you leave a bit of the wire hanging over the edge and not the thick plastic, that way it'll sit nice and flat on the table. Now it's time to mix our resin. Now the resin I'm using is a slow set version and it's mixed at a ratio of 3 parts A to 1 part B. Now the best way to do that is by using a paint mixing cup. It has all these ratios on the side and it makes it really easy to get your mix right. When pouring in your hardener, it's really important that you don't add too much. Some people think that if you add more, it'll set quicker or go harder, but it actually has an adverse effect. Sometimes it won't cure properly at all. Make sure when you mix your resin, you do it really thoroughly. Make sure you scrape down all your sides and your bottom. That way you won't have any soft spots. I like to mix for about two minutes, but you'll also notice that when you start mixing, it starts off cloudy and then it becomes crystal clear that's often a good indication that you've mixed long enough. Now it's time for me to add some blue alcohol ink. I've chosen blue because it's my favourite colour and it reminds me of the ocean. Now if you wanted to you could leave it with just the blue but I want to jazz it up a little bit and I want to use this glitter. This is the silver halo. I quite like it, it's got like a prism look to it. I will be honest, I'm not sure how much of this to put in. I'm just going to put a few spoonfuls in then give it a mix up and we'll see how it looks. I think I might just add one more for good luck. It's a bit hard to see on camera, but that's actually looking really nice. What do you guys think of that? So it's now time to pour in the resin. I'm not too worried if I get any bubbles in this one. This project won't be going in the pressure pot either, because I actually kind of want some bubbles. I reckon it'll be a nice effect with the lights. So I've filled that up right to the top of the mould. If you feel that any of your wires are poking up a little too high, just grab yourself a stick and just push them back down because you want to make sure that everything is below the resin. Like I said, I don't mind if I get any little bubbles inside the cube, but I don't want these surface ones here. So if you do get any like that, just grab yourself a little blowtorch, wave it over the top. Now you don't want to spend too much time there because you don't want to burn the resin and that'll pop them and get rid of them for you. If ever you have some leftover resin or you've mixed up too much, definitely don't waste it. I always keep moulds on hand that I can easily grab, that way I can use up my leftovers. This is a little ball one that I have, so I'm going to fill this one up so I don't waste any. Sometimes it can be difficult to pour into these small holes from a big cup like this, so I've got myself a little silicon one and it's got a little spout on here, makes it really easy to pour into.
Now all that's left is to leave these to cure. So I'm going to leave these overnight and then we can demold them tomorrow. Okay, well it's now the next day. Let's take it out of the mold. Well, that looks like we've got a really nice casting. That looks really cool. You can see here where the wire come out at the top. You can just bend that over now so it's nice and flat. That way it'll sit really good on the table. Sometimes when using a silicon mold, you get this matte like finish on the side here. If that's not what you're after, just grab yourself a bit of polish and a rag and just polish it up. I just use car polish. This is a scratch and swell remover and I apply it by using a microfiber cloth. And after a couple of minutes of polishing, you get a really nice shine. So I guess now there's only one thing left to do. Let's put the batteries in it and see how it looks. Wow, that looks awesome. That looks really cool. We didn't do too bad on the spread of lights. We could have got a bit more down here, but I think it looks pretty good. Let's turn the lights out and see how it looks in the dark. Well, that's actually really bright. For a battery operated set of LEDs, that's really cool. I could picture this being on some children's study desk. And if they have trouble sleeping at night, they could use it as a night light. I'm really happy with the way the glitter turned out as well. What do you guys think? Well, that's all for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button, it really helps me out a lot. And if it's your first time here and you like what you see, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I'll put out new videos every Saturday. And if you want to see me demold the resin leftovers, I'm going to put a video on my Instagram account. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.